Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Jones and welcome back to Learn at Home with Mrs. Jones. Today is St. Patrick's Day when I'm filming this video, so I wanted to share a fun addition activity that we can play called Fill Up Your Pot. Now you can play this game alone or you can play with a partner so you can ask an adult to play with you or a sibling, it's up to you. But in order to play this game, you are going to need a dice like this, you can have one or two, and don't worry if you don't have any dice at home, down in the description I included some printable dice that you can actually print out and you can write the numbers or you can draw dots like this onto those dice. So print out one or two of them. Next you're going to need a piece of paper with a pot like this one. Now I just drew my best pot, it's not the best one but that's okay, it reminded me of a pot of gold. So you can just get a big blank piece of paper and draw a pot on it. And the last thing you're going to need is some gold. Now, of course I don't have any real gold, so I'm using those counters that I used before. So if you played my last math game with me, the counters in a cup, whatever you used for those is great. So you're going to need quite a few of them though. So see if you can find something like beans or little pieces of rice, or if you have a bunch of Legos, whatever works for you. But grab about 50 of them. Go ahead and pause this video until you grab everything you need, and once you have it, come press play and I'll show you how to play. All right, the way you play this game is if you're playing with a partner, you're going to take turns. And the first thing you're going to do is roll this die. So ready? Four, I got four. So I'm going to go ahead and add four counters to the pot of gold. One, two, three, and four. I have four counters in my pot of gold. Now, if you're playing with a partner, it would be their turn and you guys can work together to see how quickly you can fill your pot of gold to 50. Now, I just wrote 50 up here. If you wanna start with 20 or 25, you can start there first and see how many times it takes you in order to fill up your pot. But I think 50 is probably a good number to start with for most of you. Then person number two would go, three. Let's add three more to the pot. Now, as we continue to add our counters to the pot, there's something you're always going to have to do. One, two, three. You're gonna have to check in to see if you can ever make a group of 10. Because as soon as you can make a group of 10, you're gonna put them together in the pot and make room for another one. So by the end, you should have five groups of 10 inside your pot. But right now, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's keep rolling. Five. Let's add five more. One, two, three, four, five. Now if you ask me, I think I can make a group of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, I can. So I'm going to move these. See if I can do that without them falling off. You'll be able to move them a little easier. Here is one group of 10, and here is over here, I'll start a new group of 10 over here. So now, how many do I have in this pot? 10, 11, 12. I still need to keep going to 50. Time to roll again. Like I said, you and your partner will just go back and forth, or if you're playing by yourself, you are going to keep rolling and see how long it takes you to get to 50. Now, if you wanna make this game a little trickier, what you can do is you can actually use two dice. So you play the same way, but you roll both dice, let's see, two and four, you have to add these together. So two plus four equals six. So instead of just doing adding two and then adding four more, I'm going to add six at one time to my pot of gold until I reach 50. Now, like I said, you and your partner can play together, but there's also another tricky way that you can play. What you can do is each of you can have your own pot. So you can each have a piece of paper in your own pot with the number 50 at the top, and you guys can basically race to see who fills up their pot first. So you will roll, find your sum by adding two plus four and adding it to the pot, and then your partner can roll and they'll add theirs. Each time they're checking, do I have a group of 10? And the first person to get five groups of 10 or 50, they fill up their pot first and they are the winner. 
Go ahead and play this with a partner or by yourself, and I want to know just how long it takes for you to get to 50. And if you play with a partner, I want to know who wins this game. Who fills up their pot first? You can email me down at susanjonesteaching at gmail.com and let me know how it went. I'll see you tomorrow for another math game. Bye.